guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Today we're going to be talking about owning the bottom position of the bench press. There's a lot of times what I'm seeing lately is lifters traveling a little bit too low on their chest. And this is what happens sometimes when we, when we get that. All right, They're traveling low on their chest. Right, We know we want to depress our shoulder blades down to our hips. Pretty much pre turn our body like that, right? My ribs, I'm trying to flare them up to the bar, right? I'm locking these shoulders down, see that little movement? Like that, and I'm trying to maintain that while staying onto my traps, all right? My legs pushing me onto my traps, I'm locking all this down. So that's what we're trying to maintain. But then you see, as people touch lower, right? Right about here, when they start getting that resistance in their shoulders, especially if you don't have that mobility, right? To get down all the way. This is really tough for me right here. Right, what's gonna start happening? That bottom position, especially if you touch low, guys. All right, watch that. You see that little bit? In an effort to get that bar down, I'm pulling my shoulders out of position. You can see how if I was planted on my trap, now I'm gonna rotate down to my upper back. I'll show you what that looks like on the bench real quick. Okay, so where's a good position? I'm pushing myself up onto my traps. It would be this, all right? touch about here you can see I'm underneath that bar I'm gonna position poof, to throw it back okay if I touch too low right say I'm coming down too low watch my upper back a little bit you can see start to rotate off my traps right and then we end up kind of dumping it down see everything kind of collapse there guys we don't want that if you ever get that in your training like that poof, sure you might be trying to catch some of that momentum here but we never want to get into that momentum-based lifting because you're not creating tightness anymore. Okay, so what's going to happen? Maybe you get a pop, heavy weight. You're not going to be aligned well. This is going to happen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Take it. All right. Instead, we want this. Just take that tension. All right. Land a good spot. Boom. Right back. Okay, guys. So you never want to sacrifice that position to touch weight. All right. We don't want to touch too low. And we don't want our elbows coming out. We don't want any of that dump effect going on, okay? We want to stay planted on our traps. Let that resistance happen, okay? Let that stretch happen. Stay tucked under that bar. Keep bending it. Boom, it'll fire right back. All right, that's owning the bottom position, especially if you're a shirted lifter. That's where you see it the most. If you wear a slingshot, you see it a lot there too. All right, you're going to be matched with a lot of resistance in that bottom position. That's when the device is doing most of its work. All right, not up here. I'm sure you get a little resistance. You can maintain position. We can bench off a three board all day, guys. This time we get down here. All right, oh, shit, now that collar's really digging in. Those triceps are super tight, biting into my triceps. That slingshot, that's a lot of tension. All right, and we want to start dumping it just a touch and then throw it back. Okay, we don't want to do that though. Always maintain your position. Let any device you're using form around you, okay? You determine where that device goes, not the device determining your position. All right, guys, tightness always wins. Coach Ben here, and you know where to meet me. On a bench. <laughs>